My name is Blaze and I'll be guiding you through the scribble and vibe activity. We'll be listening to music and scribbling the moods and colors that we associate with each song. Here are some examples of scribbles you can do. The first scribble is one continuous line where the shapes can be colored in. The second scribble is more expressive and can be guided more by the music. In this type, you can draw specific imagery like a heart or a flower to better convey the emotions in the song. You can see here it's a little more image-based and not as loose as the first. In the third scribble, it's a little more loose and can be overlapped by different colors guided by the energy or the tempo of the song. You'll need a piece of paper, some colored pencils, and some markers. Now let's get started. Before you start your scribble, you're going to curate your own Spotify playlist. Pay close attention to how each song makes you feel and what colors you associate with it. I'm using blue and drawing some rainy clouds because this song is pretty sad. Sometimes it helps to draw out your emotions, even your sad ones. As the songs transition from one another, you can change your colors and your scribble design. I'm using some brighter colors, some orange and reds, and drawing a sun. The purpose of the exercise is to keep scribbling no matter what. Don't worry about the outcome of your scribbles, just do what feels natural. You can also write any emotion words or lyrics that you associate with the music. Now I'll be moving on to a different kind of scribble that I previously showed this is more of a loose kind of energy driven scribble. So when doing this kind of scribble, you wanna to listen to the tempo or the beat of the music and just choose a color that speaks to you. I'm starting to color in the shapes that were created by the scribble. This process of coloring in is actually really therapeutic and can kind of get you to be in the present moment. Now on to my final scribble. I will be using a black pen and drawing another one of those continuous lines. So this can also be driven by the energy of the song, the tempo, whatever you associate with the music. If you're super stressed out, you can think of this activity as a way to get all of your frustration out on the paper. This does not need to be beautiful. If you want to put on some heavy metal or rap and scribble all of your anger and frustration on the paper, I'm here for it. Just remember to have fun with this activity. Scribbling and listening to music is one of my favorite ways to practice mindfulness and be in the present moment. And if you have extra time, try filling your whole page. This activity can also be done on the iPad, which I'm going to demonstrate here. I'm using the app Procreate and using the monoline pen. If any of you are tired of taking notes or dozing off in your Zoom class, this is actually a really great way to stay focused and listen to your professor. Something about doing a mindful activity during Zoom lecture really helps me to focus. I can get really antsy after sitting in a chair and looking at a screen all day. I'm finishing off by dragging some colors into empty shapes to fill them in and adding some finishing touches. Thank you all for watching and have fun scribbling and vibing.